as pianissimo, but this idea, you know, kind of works. And the, and the bowing for this isn't isn't too bad. This bowing is workable. See, he doesn't have three measures in one bow. He's got just about one or two. Good. All right, go go on. And this is this kind of a nice section he had in here. He had the flute kind of playing kind of a you know Asian kind of Thai sort of a Japanese oh, to me really sounding more, but I don't know all the way. But I mean it was ethnic, what we would call it, you know, sort of an ethnic y kind of a kind of a sound. Um, maybe like a wood flute or something like that, you know, if you had something like that. And so that is nice and he's got a little accompaniment with it. Timpani is playing kind of an unusual little little uh, syncopated rhythm underneath this is nice. I could hear some more percussion in here possibly. You know, maybe a little hat drum or something like that. A little low drum might be, might be kind of nice. Go on. And all this is good. It's all, you know, it's very well, it's very well put together. Violin solo, all of this is good. Go on. It's got solos marked, which is nice. Go ahead. And then um, then it comes here right to the end. He's got a nice, uh, you know, it's a nice concept of the piece. It's very, it's well put together and it holds together very well. So very nice job. Good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> next, who's next, next, next? We have some more, how much time do we have? Are we almost done? We have how many people do we have? <laughs> how, many, how many people are still left that are going to contribute? <laughs> Nobody's left? Nobody has any music? Me, man? Who's the call, 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 of interesting things today. Mm. Hugh, didn't you bring something? Yeah, no, well, you must raise your hand then. Okay. So you're going to go next? Or maybe you can... What? You don't have, have it? Okay. Okay, what can you? Okay, well, I definitely surveil this. Not that <laughs> okay, what is your name? Uh, my name is Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon? That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. Um, what is your piece? Uh, I composed this piece for Can you get rid of this, this layout? We just have the music. It's in layout, I think. Okay. I'll keep that one. Yeah, there. Close that. Yeah, go to layout. Close all that. Go to appearance, is it? Appearance? I have to teach this in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which yet. Let's see here. View. Uh, a panorama or something? This one? No. We don't know. Who knows this dumb program better than me? Uh, Horizontal? Uh, 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 little uh, triangular, green triangular. Uh, right. Oh, this guy? This one. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, this one. Right. Oh, this guy. Right. Yep. Or maybe I can uh, use the air of 11 or something. There we go. That'll work. Okay. That's okay. better. That's good.
Comments from anybody? Person. Is this is he your student? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now what did you say? You got to fill me in here. She, now what? She studied with my friend. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing, I guess, right? Okay. <laughs> well, it's a um, very modern language, right? A modern harmonic language, right? We can hear that. You know, very uh, dissonant, uh, distance, uh, chromaticism. Um, you know, the the sounds don't help, right? I mean, the sounds are lousy, but you know, we can't do anything about that. It's just Sibelius sounds, stuff like a you know, toy box or something like that. But that's that's just built in. But um, I think it um, it's hard on the first listening to hear uh, how the piece holds together. You know, I mean, that would be my question. I mean, the first thing I would think of. Um, I like, I do, I like this. I'll have you move it ahead. It's probably the easiest way. This is good, always to have, you know, hairpins like this in in, in material. The flute, the flute can do this kind of slurring thing. It's okay for the flute. So this is kind of good. Um, 
I'm not even sure. How did you come up with this harmonic language? What harmonic? You used like 12 tone series or something? 12 tone scale? No? No? No, What kind of. It's not a major scale, that much I tell you. I mean, what, I mean, were you giving one sound, one group of sounds throughout the whole piece, or just as it came along to you? Just came along. Okay. It just came along with, with this group of pitch with uh, some coordination, uh, pentatonic coordination from Thai, Thai piece. No, yeah, I heard the the the, yeah. uh, the Thai piece, the uh, ethnic part. This yeah. doesn't have much to do with Thai music. This yeah, part, yeah, yeah. you know, um, they all, they all, when you use uh, chromatic language, you just you have to the piece has to hold together somehow. You know what I mean? It, it's it's not enough to to just write like how like I don't know the details, but you, what you have to think about is how does this part match up with this part. This part has to match up somehow with this part. Doesn't mean that this has to be the same notes as this part, but this should be a combined harmonic concept, right? If you look at a piece by modern composer, Baer, you know, or Shostakovich, or Schoenberg, or Stravinsky, 12-tone writer, Carter, our friend Carter, this isn't one world and this ain't another world. It's all the same world, right? It's all meant to be the same idea. So I don't, we don't have time to get into it. I think there's many good parts to it. But you just, in your own work, make sure that you go back and you, you say to yourself, well, I didn't write this first and then write this second. And I never looked up here to see what the heck I was doing. นะครับตอนนี้อาจารย์บอกว่าจะเขียนแบบไหนก็ได้แต่ประเด็นก็คือว่าข้างบนนี้เป็นเป็นอะไรบางอย่างนะครับตอนนี้อาจารย์บอก
and he, the themes that he was using was his own themes, but it had elements of something from Thailand or something that he was using from Cambodia or something he was using that had an unusual sound. And as soon as I heard that, I said, that's what you should be playing for people. Even if you want a, a job for a movie, you play that for them. Because then the director hears that and he goes, hmm, ah, maybe I could use that in the movie that I'm making. That, you know, they go to China or they go to Vietnam or they go to Thailand. I could use a little bit of that. This person knows how to write something that's unique. Okay. องค์ประกอบบางอย่างนะครับมีจังหวะมีอะไรอย่างนี้บางอย่างที่มันมีลักษณะแบบแบบไทยๆแล้วอาจารย์เค้าก็เลยบอกว่าควรจะเปิดอ
ขียนเหมือนไม่ว่าจะเขียนแบบไหนก็ตามเขียนให้มันมีลักษณะของออเคสตรานะครับเวลาอาจจะไม่งูเพราะว่าถ้าเราพูดว่าเราจะพูดกับเธอในวันนี้เธอจะพูดกับเธอในวันนี้เธอจะพูดกับเธอในวันนี้เธอจะพูดกับเธอในวันนี้เธอจะพ